hey welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this is Gakobo Ruth uh, if you're seeing this face for the first time kindly consider subscribing i'm evolving my content but previously i've been doing hair content then moving forward i'll be doing <clears throat> excuse me i'll be doing life videos lifestyle and all that and where we hold conversations interviews anything that comes to mind as i try to see where this is leading me because limiting myself to hair content has been feeling a little bit it has been weighing heavily on my heart because it's not solely the only thing that i want to do so let's get straight into the the video why you clicked on it i was almost almost get that almost assaulted actually i even think i was assaulted by monkeys hmm. here is the story time it just didn't begin the other day it started back in the year 2013 that was after i was done with my primary school that was like grade 8 so after grade 8 i came to visit my brother and so we decided to go to the park going to the park everyone was walking out of the park but tell me why this specific monkey thought it was funny to chase after me actually it wasn't even in a park it was an orphanage if you want to know which self orphanage to be specific nairobi animal orphanage it's not sponsored i don't have to say that but let me just say it it's not sponsored but i was at nairobi animal orphanage when i was first almost assaulted by monkeys so funny enough when the monkey was almost getting to me someone screamed and said the monkey is chasing after you and like the scared kitty that i am i had to look back and run there wasn't time to think what i saw i just looked back and run flight mode activated guys flight i'm telling you flight mode activated so i was running for my life but the monkey the an orphanage officers decided i uh, managed to uh to get it away from me and i was safe so everyone was making fun of me saying that the monkeys i'm such a nice person that has that, that even the monkeys want to have me with them they don't want me to leave because we were being asked to leave the orphanage because it was already closing time at the orphanage that was the first experience now here comes the mother of all assaults and for that allow me to clean my nose because i have to so i moved to this new house like you already know that i moved if you already knew the previous setup and you're seeing this setup you already know that i moved so i moved into this new house and i decide you know what it's a good idea to be leaving the windows open for air circulation who wouldn't think it's a good idea even when you're hearing it it's a very good idea but let me tell you spoiler alert it's not not where i am not where i am let me give you a setting of where i live i'm surrounded by forests and this is how close in proximity i am to the forests or lava to the tree plant plantations hey it's cold oh, now to the tree plantations so the moment i walk out of my the gate to where i live the moment i walk out i just have to walk like I would say I, I'm, I'm tempted to say like a hundred meters yeah a hundred a hundred meters at most for me to get the forest to the all to the tree plantation that is next to my house beyond that just less than 300 meters from where I live now starts big for bigger forest that's not scary to you yet that it's going to get scary so here happens i've been leaving my window open and 
yeah there's been circulation there's fresh my house doesn't feel stuffy and all i'm happy who said that my house would be stuffy if i left it with i left the windows closed no one would it be stuffy no but i'm extra i love being extra and as we've already established by this point if you've been an og we already know that i don't love myself because i subject myself to torture right wrong <laughs> so i leave the house uh so happy and everything i'm glad and i'm excited so i walk to work and the work day is over i am coming back home coming back home i find beautiful beautiful monkeys by the gate even uh, uh resting by the gate if i may call it resting but i realized that they had ugali ugali is uh is like um is food made let me use it that way it's hard food not really hard soft should be shouldn't be hard soft food made from maize flour or corn flour yes now you know what ugali is so i see that one of the monkeys is eating ugali and that's what i had prepared in the morning and what was left i left it in the house covered Ka covered i want you to establish that so <laughs> i see these monkeys are beautiful so i decide let me take a video and then i realize hey why are they eating ugali and i'm like who gave them ugali mm, i'm like oh my neighbors they must be very generous and so when i realized that i couldn't take videos i just stopped deleted the footage and walked into the compound Walking into the compound, my house is the first house that you get to, or it's the first thing that you see once you walk into our compound. So, listen and listen to me good. So, I walk into the compound and guess what? I find pasta outside the door. I see mango seeds on the rooftop and... I also realized there's a monkey that is waiting by the door. So I'm like, what will I do? I'll just get there, shush, and, and, and it will leave. Wrong. I was so wrong for thinking that. Tell me why this monkey wanted to fight me. And anyone who knows me knows that I can scream. And not just scream, I can scream loudly. Have we established that I can scream loudly? And when you think of how loud I can scream, multiply that by 10. That's how loud I can be when I'm scared for my life. So, I screamed. And, or I screamed, whatever you want to call it. My neighbor comes out and helps me and she tells me, Hey, I walked here and I found that monkeys were already in your house. So I closed your window. But I believe there must be a monkey inside. So I'm like, fine. So what we do, kindly chase this one that is about to fight me. And let's see what damage is inside. And I, if possible, kindly help me ensure, in ensuring that that monkey that is in the house is out. The monkey leaves. There is a whole lot of mess in the house. We're not going to talk about that. Tell me why the next day I come back from work. Enter into the house lock close the door like i didn't close it like locking it i just pulled it shut hmm? i pulled the door shut but here what happens next my monkey friends by now because i believe they think we are friends comes to the door and tries to open the door hey my friend i prophesied and proclaimed everything that i could proclaim because i was like we are not about to have a fight in my house where I know definitely I'm going to lose because I'm a scared kitty. So I had to chase him away. And I'm here thinking to myself, what is this that is in my blood that just attracts monkeys? Someone tell me, what's in my blood that just attracts monkeys and at the most inappropriate times? I'm waiting for an answer.
still waiting if you have no answer for me i also don't know but that is my near assault moment all moments by monkeys yes monkeys and now that i shared my most embarrassing moments with you kindly let me know whether you have any embarrassing moments that you have had with monkeys or you have encountered with monkeys and let's chat below kindly consider subscribing peace out